All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We are back with another video. I'm back with another sort of mini unboxing as uh, this is an example of uh, big things come in small packages. Uh, it has arrived. This is the Magnificent Seven of the Waterboys, the Fisherman Blues Room to Rome Band 1989 to 1990. So pretty happy, pretty excited about this one arriving. This one took a while to arrive. The copyright actually is 2021. And uh, for whatever reason, this one kept getting pushed back. Um, but yeah, it's out now. And and there's a number of uh, various uh, configurations for this. So this is mainly spotlighting the album Room to Rome, which was the follow-up to A Fisherman's Blues. I really do love this period of the uh, Water Boys, uh, where they really got into uh, uh, traditional Celtic music and sort of you know exploring country music uh, in their own way. Uh, that really opened me up. Uh, certainly, I remember when Fisherman's Blues came out, absolutely loved it. And then when Room to Rome sort of continued in that, and that really kind of at that time, that sort of late 80s, got me to exploring a lot more uh, Celtic music or even traditional folk music, that sort of thing with, you know, Stan Rogers uh, at that time exploring his music. So it, for me, in terms of just kind of hit at the right time and exploring other bands that way. So uh, this is the sort of mini box set. Now this is available in a, f a few different configurations, including a, a super deluxe uh, box set that uh, has the same CDs. Uh, so this is five CDs. And a DVD. It's the same in the Super Deluxe, but it's more in kind of like a big book form, uh, that sort of thing. And it wasn't too fussy of the way the CDs were housed in the big book form. They were sort of uh, slotted in into the book, not in individual cases or sleeves. So with this, it's a clamshell, and each uh, CD is a, at least in its individual sleeves. And uh, so since the option was to buy the clamshell, and it's certainly much cheaper than the uh, Super Deluxe box set, I went with this one because this also matches uh, what was the follow-up to uh, the Water Boys uh, Fisherman's box. Uh, so it kind of continues at least in that same sort of configuration rather than going with a big super deluxe box uh, for this one. So, uh, so this is six CDs. Uh, this is five CDs and a DVD. And the DVD uh, apparently includes uh, things like home movies, a complete Glastonbury Festival UK performance, a bootleg, also a Milan Italy uh, performance and other, uh, other home movies and goodies. Three hours and 50 minutes for the DVD that's included in addition to the five CDs. So man, you get a lot of bang for your buck. So this also includes a booklet uh, in the uh, Super Deluxe one. I think it's a much more extensive uh, booklet. So without further ado, uh, let's take a look inside. Of course, uh, Mike Scott and the uh, Water Boys, uh, Room to Rome, as I mentioned, I very much continued that sort of uh, traditional uh, sort of Celtic slash country uh, stuff that they were uh, getting into. I mean, some like it and some don't, um, you know, if you prefer, you know, the, the earlier uh, Water Boys, you know, the Hole of the Moon, that sort of thing. I just thought that these were just two great albums and just, again, just at the late, late 80s, you know, then exploring things like Van Morrison with the Chieftains and that sort of thing. So, yeah, so you get a lot of, a lot of music, a lot of, a lot of extra stuff. So the traditional uh, clamshell opening. And it's interesting. Uh, it is the same size as this one. Um, but it is just slightly, even though it's the same amount of discs, this one's just slightly bigger and a slightly different uh, clamshell. So we have that, uh, very nice. And then this just opens up like this. And then of course you have the booklet right off the top. We'll take a look at that. And as I mentioned, uh, it was very nice is that each, each disc is housed uh, at least in its own sleeve and uh, different, di completely different uh, pictures for each sleeve. Now the other one, uh, the Fisherman's Blues box um, is the same idea. I just put the hype sticker there. This one didn't come with a hype sticker. Um, so it had the booklet there and then the CDs in here, but then the CDs, uh, it's pretty much the same picture <laughs> with a different color uh, for each one. I think you get the idea there. Uh, so this one, at least, uh, you know, you got some different, some different picks going on. So you got, first one is uh, Celtic Summer. Hopefully you can see that there. Okay, there's that. Oops, we didn't even look at the disc. Oh my goodness, I don't know if there's gonna be... Oh, and even the very nice matches each disc. And then we have the Rambles of Autumn. Oops. And these are fairly thin sleeves, but serviceable. And we have that. 
Okay, there's that. I'll just put that over here. And then we have Winter's Work. And the water boy's still going. Technically, it's all Mike Scott, but the water boy's still going. Wow, they certainly fill up the discs, that's for sure. Like that. And then I think, and this is the uh, the Water Boys album, Room to Roam. And I remember when this came out, because uh, when you think about uh, Fisherman's Blues with that sort of cover, and then this came out, I was like, is this actually the Water Boys? But yes, of course, sure enough, looks like they're having lots of fun there. And they have uh, reissued this on, I think, a double vinyl set uh, that includes, obviously, the record and then some extra stuff as well. And then finally, a band for all seasons, the DVD. But yeah, three hours and 50 minutes worth of material. Wow. That's pretty nice. Oops. And they're like that. Okay, so there is that. And if I've got the right to booklet, no, that's the wrong booklet. That's the Fisherman's Box <laughs> booklet. And what have I done? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Too many CD box sets. All right, so there we have that. I do love the how colorful that is on the back. And then this very much uh, similar to the uh, setting for Fisherman's Blues. And a very serviceable uh, booklet. I think the, the Super Deluxe uh, contains all the lyrics and probably some extra stuff because I think I was reading the Super Deluxe version of this. I think the book is 250 pages, something like that, 240 pages. Whereas this, I think, is roughly a 60-page kind of kind of book. I guess, like anything, it depends how much you want to explore. And usually, because there's so much material, a lot of this is made up of credits. Oh, there's some nice pictures there. You know, telling telling you who played on what. Yeah, it's nice to see some color uh, photos from these because the original album for Fishman's Blues had it as a black and white photo. Okay, looks like not too, too much more. All the reels to reels. Gosh, it's amazing how much material was actually recorded for these sessions. And nice that it's being made available. As I said, Spotlight's a very uh, unique uh, musical time for uh, for the Water Boys, uh, sort of late 80s kind of revival uh, exploration uh, into Celtic music. So yeah, there you go. So yeah, really going to be enjoying this, uh, The Magnificent Seven and the Water Boys Fisherman's Blues Room to Rome Band 1989 to 1990. Uh, very nice. Now, I did pick up a f uh, just a few extra uh, CDs. Uh, I picked up, uh, yes, the latest Yes album, The Quest. Uh, this is the uh, double CD. Again, this is available in a whole bunch of different configurations. You can also get this as like a deluxe art book uh, sort of thing. I opted uh, for the two CD uh, set that gives you, you know, the extra music. Now, it's not a lot of extra music on the second CD, uh, but and there's the uh, the band there and also featuring jay is it pronounced skeelan or sheelan who is uh, uh with the band uh, when they're performing on percussion helping out to uh, uh, helping out alan white but uh, according to the credits uh, jay doesn't appear on any tracks uh, on this uh, album so i don't know why <laughs> he's included in the band lineup uh but i like the opening track the ice bridge as for the album as a whole I was expecting more, or hoping for more. Um, there's a lot of slow tempo, um, I don't want to say ballads, but I, I just wish Yes would have a little bit more punch. I mean, it's it's got everything in terms of like, John Davison's vocals are great. Now, Steve Howe is also producing. Uh, it does miss Chris Squire's uh, vocal. Um, harmonies or vocal uh, presence uh, in the band. Um, Steve Howe is now doing a lot of that and it, it's okay but it's not as good as the sort of John Anderson or John Davidson with Chris, Chris Squire. That sound it doesn't work quite as well but it's just a band. I don't know. It's 
<laughs> Let me know what you think uh, in terms of the uh, current yes. This is a band I just finding a little frustrating. It's a band I keep wanting to uh, love and enjoy, but I find that they're just not. But again, having said that, um, I'm very happy that they've released some new music because with so many of these bands, you know, they don't have to put out anything new. They can just keep touring on, on the hits and the oldies, if you will. So I'll, I'll give them full credit uh, for continuing to put out some new music. Um, but I just wish we get a little bit more. But uh, who's also who's giving you more uh, is uh, Colin James, a great Canadian blues artist. This is his latest album, Open Road. Absolutely terrific. Right in the uh, Colin James uh, wheelhouse of blues, rock. Uh, he does, you know, a handful of covers and, of course, uh, you know, some of his own stuff as well. Uh, he does uh, Tony Joe White's As the Crow Flies. And you got an Albert King song, Can't You See What You're Doing to Me. Uh, he does a couple of Bob Dylan songs on here. It takes a lot to laugh takes a train to cry and there's a also down on the bottom a Bob Dylan tune and uh, there's got to be an Otis Rush uh, song on here somewhere but uh, again just really nice super enjoyable so nice to see and this was kind of made uh, sort of uh, in, during lockdown if you will so it's a lot of uh, people putting their their music together uh, online but uh, what I was also struck by the CD of this, this is almost like, in terms of the the cardboard, it's almost, it's like good LP quality cardboard, so it's really quite sturdy. Now, it doesn't quite uh, sit, but of course, if it sits on the shelf or whatever, if you put it in a little CD bag or whatever, but it's really quite nice. And what I do like, um, uh, in terms of, it helps for the spine, even though it's one of these fold outs it's amazing this little technology if you just do that on the spine i can show you i also picked up a can and this is live in brighton uh, 1975 i also did pick this up on vinyl uh, triple vinyl and a two cd uh, set so i'll show the uh, lp in another video uh, this continues uh, in the series of live recordings with the band can completely instrumental completely improvised completely amazing i just really really have been enjoying uh this series and so this uh, opens up like this and as i said the lp is a is a three lp set and then this has a nice little uh booklet just in the middle here we'll take just a quick look at that it's just it's not too extensive just some essays some interesting artwork but completely instrumental, completely improvised uh, series of concerts. What an absolutely amazing, amazing band. But in terms of just CD packaging, so you have this and then you have this, uh, but then when you have this, you get the spine that doesn't quite sit right. And you know, if you just had this little technology of putting that there, then you get the spine to sit right. Even then on this one, they didn't really have to, but they put that uh, in twice. Uh, if you will so you see it there and then you see it there so it sits nicely but that's just a <laughs> just an observation but in terms of the music both uh terrific both very different but both uh, certainly terrific so yeah uh, i think that's it lots to enjoy uh, for now so again uh, water boys and uh thanks so much uh, for dropping by and uh, we'll chat again soon do take care bye bye